Welcome back to Let's Learn LaTeX. Today what we're going to do is we're going to create our first Beamer document. Now the difference between Beamer and what we've been working with is that Beamer is actually LaTeX presentation software. So much like a PowerPoint, what we're actually going to get out of here is going to be a PDF that we can use as a presentation. So I use these in my lectures every once in a while and they're very nice looking and they're very easy to create. So what we want to do is we want to go into TechMaker or TechWorks or ShareLaTeX or whatever compiling software you're using. And what we want to do is we want to create our document class. Now instead of using an article like we have been, the document class we're going to use is going to be Beamer. So it's B-E-A-M-E-R, all lowercase. Now something to notice about Beamer is that if you haven't already created a Beamer document, it's going to have to load the whole package in when you compile your document, so this might take some time. So I've already done it, so it's going to go by rather quickly. So there's a whole bunch of themes that you can use when you're creating a Beamer document. If A quick Google search will find you a couple websites where you can find a plethora of Beamer themes. One of the themes that I like is Berkeley, so I'm going to type in use theme, and in the curly brackets I'm going to type in Berkeley with a capital B, B-E-R-K-E-L-E-Y. So now, basically the header's set up to create a Beamer document. So I can begin my document, and TechMaker will automatically end my document, and I can just throw in a couple words here. I've already saved this document a couple times, so if you go ahead and you hit compile and it gives you errors, make sure to save your document before you try to compile it. And this is what my document looks like so far. So I want to start tweaking this just a little bit. So what I really want is I want each of my slides to have a title, and I want them to look a little better than this. So what we can do is we actually want to tell LaTeX that we're going to create a new slide. Now in Beamer, slides are what we call frames. So we're going to begin frame, and we can say here is some text on our first frame. And if we recompile our document, now this is what it looks like. What we notice is that our slide, or our frame, doesn't have a title. So you can give it a title by right after where we have begin frame in the curly brackets next to the frame, we can just type title. So I'm going to title this frame our first slide. Ta-da! Now we have our first slide and we have some text. So something else that we can do is we can start including bullet points. Now to do bullet points we can use an itemized list or we can use an enumerated list. An itemized list won't number it an enumerated list will number it. So I've already showed off enumerated lists in one of my previous videos. They're going to work out exactly the same way here. So what I'll show off is an itemized list. So begin, itemize. Now for each of our items, we're just going to type backslash item. Dogs, cats, mice, rabbits. And we'll go ahead and we'll compile our document. And here's what our slide looks like. So here's some text on our first frame, and then we have our itemized list. So we want to kind of organize this a little bit and start making it look a little better. So it would be nice to have a very professional looking title slide. So what we can do is we can, in our header, right under use theme, it really doesn't matter where up here you type it, but I'm going to go under use theme and I'm going to type in title, and let's title this our first LaTeX document, or our first Beamer project. We can even include a subtitle. And let's make our subtitle Beamer is fun. We can tell whoever's seeing it who the author is. So just type backslash author. And it's going to be Let's Learn Calculus. We can even include the institute. Now institute's a little weird. In the square brackets, we're going to type in the name of the school. And in the curly brackets, we can type in the department. So we're the School of Calculus and the Department of Mathematics. And finally, we can type in the date. This isn't necessarily required, but it is nice if you're planning on giving the same presentations at a couple different places on a couple different dates. So today's date is November 13th, 2015. And what we'll see is if we go ahead and we recompile our document, absolutely nothing will change. We can even recompile it twice. A lot of what we're going to have to do here is going to involve recompiling multiple times just so that it can run through the document, gather some information, and then the second time we recompile it, it'll be able to put all that information in here. So what we actually want is we want to go ahead and create kind of a title slide. 
So we'll go ahead and we'll begin a new frame. So right above our first frame, we're going to begin a new frame. And similar to what we did in our other documents is we're going to make title. So if we go ahead, type a make title there, we recompile. What we have now is two slides. So we have our first slide, which we created earlier, and we have our new title slide. So we can give our title slide a name. So right after frame, I'll just say title slide. And we're good to go here. So here's how you get started with a Beamer document. I'm going to show you a couple more things that are kind of handy to have. Something that you don't need to use, but it makes navigating your presentations a little bit simpler. So similar to how we included sections and subsections in our Word documents, we can create sections and subsections in our Beamer documents. So here's our first section. I'm just going to call it section one. And we can even start including subsections. And let's try to make even maybe another section or two. I'll just call this a day in the life. We can stick a frame in here. La 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 la. And a subsection. So what we see is we recompile this and not a whole lot pops up. We had a couple frames and we added a couple new sections, but we only see section one and section 1.1. What we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to recompile again to see section two and the subsection. So now we have our section one. If we go ahead and we click on section one from over on the left-hand side from any of our slides, it'll take us right to the beginning of section one. If we click on our subsection, it'll take us to the same slide because they begin at the same spot. If we click on section two, from any of our slides, it'll take us to the first frame of section two. And if we click on our subsection section two, the wow, life is hard, man. That'll take us to the first frame of section 2.1. Now I included the asterisks on the sections. And what that does is that just doesn't number it similar to how it did in the articles. If you left the asterisks off, what it would do is it would number your sections and number your subsections. Or it'll give you control errors. So maybe you do need to include the asterisk or else I won't know how to number it. So before we wrap up, what I want to show off is just what this complete document looks like. If I bring it over here, this is what we see. And if we view it as full screen, we can actually navigate it with our mouse. So just by scrolling, we can use the arrows on the keyboard, or we can go ahead and we can click section one, section two, and our subsection 2.1. All right, I'm going to leave it here. If you, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you want more, please hit the subscribe button. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a question in the comments. And I will see all you guys in the next one.